From choking slime to a beach covered in balls, here are 11 super weird things found in nature. 11. Tallulah the Turtle In early 2016, a young barnacle-encrusted loggerhead turtle washed ashore on Gwythian Beach in Cornwall, England. She was weak and dehydrated, and at first, rescuers were not sure if she would survive. Staff members of the Blue Reef Aquarium in Newquay removed the goose barnacles from the turtle, who they named Tallulah, and slowly but surely, she regained her health. Employee Steve Matchett, who likened the condition Tallulah was found in to that of a dead animal in a BBC interview, described her recovery as little short of a miracle. The Irish Navy transported Tallulah and another recently healed turtle 2,000 miles to the waters of Gibraltar and set the pair free. Rescuers always hope that the lost turtles they return to sea manage to stay in their habitats, but it appears as though more and more are being found elsewhere in recent years. The month before Tallulah became stranded, 16 warm water turtles appeared on England's beaches. Experts blame devastating winter storms, which blow the creatures off their path and into places they wouldn't normally go. For loggerheads and other species who are not built for cold water, the effects are devastating. The lower temperatures cause their bodies to shut down, leaving rescuers with a very narrow window of opportunity for saving a stranded turtle's life. Their rehabilitation often requires months of around-the-clock care, and sadly, they don't always survive. 10. Field-sized fungus In thinking about the largest living organisms on Earth, we often skip right to animals and overlook plants and fungi, yet the number one spot for this title goes to a honey mushroom, Armillaria solidipes, formerly Armillaria ostei, specimen in Mulhuor National Forest, Oregon. Its discovery began with the US Forest Service investigation of the surrounding area in 1998, amid unexplained die-off of large numbers of trees. Tests revealed that nearly all the trees were infected with honey fungus and that many of them were taken down by a single colony of specimens derived from a single organism. Scientists determined that the fungus is anywhere from 1,900 to 8,650 years old and that it covers a 3.7 square mile or 10 kilometers squared area, making it even bigger than the previous record holder for the world's largest living organism, a honey mushroom specimen in Michigan that occupies 37 acres or 15 hectares. These massive mushrooms are connected via an underground network of tissues called mycelia. Lifeforms like these have long called into question what constitutes a singular organism. Scientists believe A. solidipes fits the criteria because its cells are genetically identical clones who correspond with one another and share a common purpose. 9. Free dental work most people and animals alike know better than to go anywhere near a crocodile's mouth out of a fear of losing a body part or being crushed or killed. But the Egyptian plover, nicknamed the crocodile bird, flies straight into the Nile crocodile's open mouth and comes out not only alive, but entirely unscathed. I can see you asking, how? In what's known as a symbiotic relationship, where two different biological organisms benefit from one another, the small bird feeds on decomposing pieces of meat between the crocodile's teeth, keeping the reptile's mouth clean and infection-free. It's surprising to see an animal that is so prone to aggression welcome a much smaller and more vulnerable creature anywhere near it with open arms, but the Nile crocodile apparently appreciates the value of some free dental work. In fact, when one finds themselves in need of some routine cleaning, they'll simply wait with their mouths open for plover birds to drop by and grab a bite to eat. 8. Submerged Forest In the Tian Shan Mountains in Kazakhstan, there's a lake filled with dead spruce trees that jut out of the water, making for a scenic but eerie sight. Known as Kindy Lake, the 1,300-foot-long or 400-metre body of water was formed following an earthquake in 1911, which triggered a landslide that created a natural dam and filled with rainwater. The site is famous for its beauty, with the trees standing in contrast to the turquoise backdrop of the lake's water. Even more stunning is when the lake is frozen over or when a misty fog lurks over the water, according to a Discovery.com article by Mike Epiphany. The view is equally stunning underwater because the trees have not decomposed with even the needles remaining attached, resulting in what looks like a submerged forest. It's the lake's frigid temperatures, which rarely exceed 43 degrees Fahrenheit or 6 Celsius even during the summer, that has kept the trees so well preserved for so long. For all its allure and splendor, Kindy Lake sees relatively few visitors. It's more remote than some of the country's other, more easily accessible tourist attractions. An off-roading vehicle is required to reach the site, but those who have been there will say it was worth the effort. 7. Male Pregnancies 
In the animal kingdom, females typically birth and raise their young and are the primary caregivers, even if the male is involved in the offspring's upbringing. But these roles are reversed among three known marine creatures, including seahorses, pipefish, and sea dragons. How, you may ask? Male seahorses have a brood pouch on the front of their bodies. Females deposit their eggs into the pocket, where the male fertilizes and carries them until they are born. The eggs hatch two to four weeks after being fertilized, when the male starts to experience contractions. Anywhere between 50 and 2,000 fry, or baby seahorses, come out of his body. Equipped with a similar brood pouch, male pipefish give birth to anywhere between five and 40 offspring. Interestingly, these dads tend to not take care of their young if they don't like their mother, and they take the best care of the offspring they have with larger and more attractive females. Sea dragons are related to both seahorses and pipefish, but they do not have a brood pouch. Instead, females deposit a few hundred eggs into tiny cups on the male's tail, where they spend the next four to six weeks fertilizing. It takes several days for the eggs to hatch. Six, psychedelic swamp. While the Florida swamps are certainly known for having some weird and downright scary wildlife, they didn't have a reputation for being very pleasing to the eye until 2016, when social media user Michael Hussey posted a photo of a rainbow-colored psychedelic swamp to the Florida Landscape's Facebook page. Taken in Tallahassee, the image shows water of various shades, including blue, pink, purple, yellow, and green. The colors appear every year around February or March, when leaves and other plant life start to decompose, releasing natural oils and tannic acids that create the Technicolor effect. Under the right sunlight, these swamps glimmer in an array of eye-catching hues, somewhat resembling the look of spilled oil. Patches of water that look very inky with dark red undertones, known as black water, are also an effect of the decomposition process. Have you ever seen a psychedelic swamp firsthand? Let me know in the comments below, but first, be sure to subscribe. 5. Mustached Bird Not many members of the animal kingdom sport mustaches, but some do, and a bird called the Incoterm is arguably the most magnificent among them. Both male and female specimens are equipped with a white handlebar mustache that stands out against the bird's dark grey plumage. The length of the mustache is a major determining factor when it comes to choosing a mate because birds with longer mustaches are considered healthier. As a result, they tend to have more active dating lives. When two Inca terns with long mustaches mate, they have more and larger offspring than those who are less well equipped. Found along South America's west coast from northern Peru to central Chile, the species gets its name from the powerful empire that once ruled the region. While the Inca tern was once abundant, with a population numbering in the millions, its numbers have declined to an estimated 150,000 left out in the wild due to overfishing resulting in a decreased supply of anchovies and other food sources. Breeding is also difficult for these unique birds due to invasive predators like rats, natural disasters and the guano or bat poop harvesting industry. All things considered, it's clearly a good thing that the most eligible Inca terns instinctively know how to seek each other out, thereby optimizing the species' chances of survival. 4. Catatumbu Lightning The people who live where the Catatumbu River meets Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela witness the world's highest concentration of lightning, which occurs 300 days out of the year on average. Known as Catatumbu Lightning, it strikes 250 times per square kilometer, or 0.4 miles, per year in the region where one quarter of the country's population lives, according to NASA's Earth Data website. Scientists believe that winds blowing across Lake Maracaibo and nearby swampy plains, which are surrounded by mountains on three sides, create the perfect conditions for the seemingly constant lightning, which actually varies in frequency. In fact, it even stopped for several months between January and March 2010 during a drought, leading some people to believe it was over for good. Not surprisingly, lightning strikes three to four times as many people in Catatumbu as it does in the US, and a lot of people die from it. NOAA physicist and researcher Angel G. Munoz said in an interview with writer Ignesca Gautier, a 2016 study determined that the Catatumbo lightning is more predictable than experts originally believed and that it can be forecasted months in advance. Discoveries like these could prove to make the region much safer for its residents, who must live to learn at the mercy of the beautiful but deadly phenomenon. 3. Choking Slime Some animals have shockingly unique ways of defending themselves against predators. One of them is the deep-dwelling eel-like hagfish, which is the only known creature that has a skull but lacks a vertebral column. 
hackfish are jawless and have remained largely unchanged for the last 300 million years or so, earning them a reputation as living fossils. Equally strange to the hagfish itself is its defense mechanism, which involves releasing strings of fibrous material that explode into slime and choke the attacker. A 2019 study describing the behavior explains that hagfish have slime glands that they release the threads from in a coiled state. In just a fraction of a second, the threads of mucus unravel and become entangled as they expand to 10,000 times their original size and blanket the predator. Worst case scenario, the predator asphyxiates and dies. Best case scenario, the cloud of mucus distracts the predator, enabling the hagfish to swim away. Because hagfish slime is made of thin fibers, it's stickier and more durable than the slime of other creatures and is incredibly effective. 2. Bowling Ball Beach Located at the northern end of Schooner Gulch State Beach in Mendocino, California, Bowling Ball Beach contains a collection of large, round rocks along the shore measuring between 6.5 and, and 9.8 feet, 2 to 3 meters in diameter, which were exposed during low tide. At first glance, the spherical formations are mysterious. How did the rocks get there, and why are they so perfectly round? Their presence has given rise to numerous outlandish theories relating to dinosaurs, aliens and other things, suggesting that something, or someone, other than nature created the formations. But these balls are actually concretions of materials that are harder than the surrounding mudstone that they sit in. As the Pacific Ocean eroded the landscape over millions of years, the receding mudstone disappeared and the remaining particles gathered together, forming the so-called bowling balls. This seemingly otherworldly phenomenon is known to occur elsewhere, including in New Zealand, where there are two collections of concretions known as the Moiraki boulders, which measure between 1.6 and 7.2 feet, or 0.5 to 2.2 meters in diameter, and the Kutu boulders, which have a diameter of up to 10 feet, or 3 meters. Stone spheres can also be found in North Dakota's Cannonball River, Kazakhstan's Valley of the Balls, and in other places. 1. Striped Icebergs you may be surprised to learn that not all icebergs are the pristine, snow-white masses we usually see in pictures. But icebergs sometimes bear a surprising array of hues in the form of coloured stripes that are usually blue, green, yellow and or brown, with blue being the most common. Typically found in Antarctica, striped or banded icebergs form under special conditions. For example, blue stripes appear when crevices are filled with water and it freezes too quickly to form any bubbles, according to ZME Science. It's probably a good time to mention that the average iceberg appears white because it's formed from compressed snow, which reflects light from all directions. Green stripes result from algae-rich water infiltrating an iceberg's crevices, while yellow, brown and black stripes are usually caused by different sediments that the iceberg picked up while sliding downhill at an earlier point in time. Sedimentary bands also form when an iceberg's layers melt and refreeze. It takes hundreds or thousands of years for a banded iceberg to form, according to the Daily Mail. While striped glaciers are not exactly rare, they're also not very common, and people seldom get the opportunity to see one firsthand. Certain coloured stripes are easier to catch a glimpse of than others, as hobby blogger Dusty Pierce points out on his website. Green stripes, for example, are usually hidden on the underbelly of an ice mass, and they tend to only become visible when the iceberg flips over and before it melts. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in nature? Let me know. And if you'd like to learn more about weird things found in nature, let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.